Um, good afternoon, members of uh, our esteemed members from the LSK. Uh, welcome back to yet another session to sensitize the young lawyer medical cover that we managed to secure using the underwriters of Mega Health and uh, through the insurance firm of AAR, together with the Britam Professional Indemnity Cover for our Young Advocates Law Firm. Together with me in the team, we have uh, Madam Beatrice from Mega Health, whom together with her team, they will be taking us through the cover. They will be telling us why we need to take this cover. They will giving us, be giving us the modalities on how best to procure the cover, which steps we need to take, whom we're going to be approaching, and above all, which is the most important thing, how the premiums work as per the installments that have been tabulated that have been shared around all circles. So with no further ado, allow us to start this meeting. Madam Beatrice, you're ready with your team? Yes, we are. Please take over. The floor is yours. We can start. Thank you. OK, thank you so much, Tess. Um, ladies and uh, gentlemen, good afternoon. So we are here just to remind you about these covers that were launched some months back. And we are glad that there are some people who contacted us and we've registered them into these covers. So I am not a fan of uh, very long presentations. We are just going to touch on the, um, touch on the covers briefly, but we will leave it uh, for interaction. Eh? I think it's best if we just give you information. We believe that your landed friends. So we are not going to read uh, this for you. I believe this flyer was already circulated to you guys. So we are just going to touch on it and just highlight eh, the most important uh, uh, sections of this flyer. As you can see, it's AR Medical, uh, Young Lawyers Medical Cover. This is a cover underwritten by AR Insurance. And uh, mainly it's for young lawyers and uh, we have tried to incorporate your needs. So uh, I'll ask uh, the person projecting to move to the next, next session, please. Clifford? Yes. So, um, bef bef yeah, so this is what we just wanted to go through the uh, premium analysis, but I think this is not the most important part. So uh, we need to move to uh, below where there are categories. So we've given you two categories uh, of cover. There's the category one. Madam, uh, is just a minute. Clifford, do you mind if you pinch it so that, zoom it, zoom in, so that we can see, please. Zoom, yeah, the last where there's category one and category Zoom again. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So uh, we uh, are aware that we are, you are young lawyers and we are starting up and uh, probably resources uh, could be a challenge to some of you and as well as there are those who are young lawyers but you're doing very well. So we gave you two categories of cover. The category one uh, restricts you to certain providers um, and exclude the main prov providers. Huh? So this will, will exclude you. So I don't want to say restrict you, but exclude you from major hospitals, which sometimes is not even necessary. Really, when you go to Nairobi Hospital, you spend the whole day there. I believe some of you are having like uh, your farms, you are very busy. These main hospitals can really be a challenge. You're not going to, well, most people want to go to Nairobi, Aga Khan and the likes. But why don't you consider going to um, a provider that is near you? Uh, personally, I have AR cover. And uh, I don't even go to these Nairobi Aga Khans, apart from being expensive, because even if you have one million eh, or, and you are admitted at Nairobi Hospital, that is, if it's ICU, that is just one, uh, three days. Eh? So generally, even if you have a, a very high end cover, it is important that you uh, have that in mind that these facilities, eh, you really don't have to go there. You can only go there if it's really a major um, need. Eh? Uh, but otherwise, some of these services we can get from tier two hospitals uh, that exclude this uh, this one. So you'll find again that the premiums under category one is much lower compared to category two that will now allow you to access the major hospitals. So, but the category two is basically um, one million. Eh? That's what we are giving you for inpatient one million. And then the, cut, the other categories we are giving you option of 750,000, 500,000, and 200,000. That's the main difference. So it's just the category one is 1 million and 100,000. And the other category uh, is 
uh, we, ha we have given you three options, 750,000, that goes with an outpatient of 100,000. Then there's the op option B, that is a uh, option two, that is 500,000, that goes with an outpatient of 75,000. And then option three, that is 200,000, that goes with an option of outpatient of 50,000. We understand that you people are young lawyers. Huh? Statistically, we don't expect you to have very serious ailments. So there's no need to worry. For those of you who could be thinking that, uh, I know a few here and there may be needing like uh, even ma major surgeries uh, that requires you to spend more than this. So when we are interacting with our salespeople, we are going to assist you because I know that is uh, some of the information you're having is confidential and you can't even ask here because after this, we're going to give you a, a session for Q&A, but uh, considering that some of this uh, information is sensitive, and you're not able to ask here, we will be available to take you through. So, but uh, basically, as a young lawyer, we don't expect you to have really, really serious ailments, apart from a few people here and there. So I think that is the uh, basically the difference between category one and category two. Now, this cover, we've also considered that you people travel a lot. We uh, understand that you're the ones who are traveling by road most of the time to my chapels, you are sent here and there by uh, even your, your, your companies. So we've considered um, a, a personal accident cover of 1 million eh, that is here. So of course, there's a, a professional indemnity that we are going to take you through. So let's just go back to the premium analysis, Clifford. Can you hear us? Oh, I think we are there. Yeah, so kindly just chat with us uh, to let us know if there's a problem, but I can see that you can hear us. Yeah, so this is the first category that I was talking about, the 750,000 and 100,000, then there's the 500,000 that goes with 75,000, there's 200,000 that goes with 50,000, and of course the one that I talked about, uh, the one that allows you to access major hospitals, is 1 million inpatient and 100,000 outpatient. So if you look at the premiums, these are premiums that are, uh, include um, in, inpatient cover, it includes outpatient cover, it includes dental and optical cover, and it includes uh, maternity cover. Because we understand that uh, uh, your, your age uh, is, is a, a reproductive age and you need maternity. So we factored in all this information on 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 this uh on, on on this cover so that you don't have to uh, worry about uh, dental and optical cover maternity cover so let's just move down we have uh, okay wait wait a bit sorry uh if you look at the premiums uh, for member m is member is one member if you go to m plus one is member plus one dependent M plus two is member plus two additional dependents. M plus three is M plus uh, three members and like that, like that. Um, then now dependent is somebody who either in this case will be your spouse or your child under 18. Uh, that sometimes goes up to 24. I don't expect a young uh, lawyer to have a child who is above 18. So I think that is not applicable. So if you look at like uh, um, the one for 750,000 that goes with 100,000, that is for member loan is 51,000. Um, and then 500,000 that goes with 75 is 46,000. And then 200 that goes with 50 is 39,000. Now this 1 million that goes with 100,000 is 66,000. Now this, these rates are subsidized, subsidized. If you look at retail uh, air cover, you will realize that if you add all these packages that we put together, it will be much higher. So all this is, uh, we just wanted uh, to custom make it for you. Yeah, so uh, it's suitable to you. So uh, as I already explained, now you understand the difference between um, the option one and option two. So let's move to the premium section, uh, Clifford. Uh, so we've talked about premium, but now we have also uh, negotiated with NCBA to give you an insurance premium finance. This means you don't, you don't have to have an account with the NCBA bank. Uh, if you uh, want to take this cover, you give one uh, current check and uh, uh, six post, uh, five post-dated ones. 
So if you don't have checkbook, you will do bank standing order. So we have negotiated this so that it makes it, it, makes it easy for you to now purchase this cover. I've just talked about member loan, but you can refer, as I've already guided you, that M, M plus one, M plus two, what it means. So you can now check where you, uh, you are, and then now you can do your math. But apart from that, we still have our sales team who can come and take it through. We understand that our medical insurance is really uh, emotive and we don't take it lightly. We consider your confidentiality and we consider that you really need to take time before you make up your mind when you're taking medical cover. But now the beauty is that we have spared you that time that you have to go around checking everywhere. That is why um, uh, um, LSK test together with us looked around and compared uh, this course vis-a-vis -vis other insurance companies and we settled on this. So you don't have to really uh, think of uh, shopping because the, the secretariat has already done that together with us. We've, we came up with so many uh, proposals, we did the analysis and then we settled on this. Uh, so, but if you still need more information, we are always available to provide. So up to that point, I will, uh, let me just uh, uh, highlight to you what this inpatient uh, covers. So the inpatient cover will cover you for day uh, bed. If you are admitted, you will be covered uh, uh, for the bed. If you, uh, then it covers you for maternity. Unfortunately, maternity uh, has 10 months waiting period. So kindly, before you start or as you're planning, consider that there's a waiting period of maternity. Usually it's because um, it, 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 it's a bit uh, risky for insurance companies to uh, uh, give this cover without waiting period. You find that somebody's maybe one week to deliver is when they are taking cover. And yet this is uh, supposed to be planned, should be pre-planned. So kindly consider that when you're making decision. Also consider that uh, there are uh, limits when it comes to pre-existing uh, medical condition. They are not up to the full limit. So um, for uh, 1 million, it is 500,000. And then there's the uh, 500,000, there's 200,000, and then 200,000, uh, there's 200. So there's pre-existing limit. Uh, uh, limitation so you don't accept up, you don't access up to the full limit uh, but the lowest pre-existing condition limit is 200,000 we also have congenital condition that you're covered for congenital condition is a condition that one is born with we have the psychiatric treatment we have the funeral expense or last expense and then we have the personal accident cover that I already touched on so now we also mentioned there's the dental and optical cover, and then there's the annual checkup. So I don't know, it is important that we start doing these uh, checkups early enough. Now we know that there are even young people are getting cancer. So are we uh, taking advantage of uh, the annual checkup? There are some of them, like right now last, last month, there was the cancer month and there were a lot of people giving even uh, free uh, annual checkups. So, uh, let's not just say that we're young, let's uh, go for the, the, the checks that we need to go for, the, especially the ladies, the pap smears, the, the mammograms and all these things for men, you know, so they are well men uh, checkups and well women, so let's make use of those. So, and then outpatient services that generally covers you for anything outpatient that does not require admission. So, uh, yeah, just have that in mind as you are thinking around as you're going through this flyer. We also have exclusions, which we are going to uh, uh, post later on. Uh, that, uh, but they are just general exclusion um, pertaining to, maybe I can just read them. One of them is hearing aid, and then there's the family planning and fertility treatment. Those ones are not covered. You need to have that in mind. So for family planning, uh, like you have to buy, for example, if you are to use the, the, the equipment, you have to buy them, but now going to see the doctor and doing the insertions, those ones are free. Then there's the intentional uh, self-injury, uh, suicide or attempt to suicide, drug, drug addiction. There's the expenses coverable under the other insurances, including NHIF. 
So we are expected to have NHIF, it's a mandatory cover. So if you are admitted, the, the insurance company will not cover the portion that NHIF is supposed to cover. Normally it's bed charges, which is 1,400. So make sure that you have your NHIF in place. There's a cosmetic surgery and uh, yeah, and a massage, beauty treatment, those ones are not covered. I know you guys are young and thinking about beauty uh, and all those things, but kindly just uh, uh, take note that it's not covered. Then there's the war invasion, civil war riots and act of tourism. This can be covered as an extra premium, which is not considered here. There's a military and air force operation, contamination of radioactivity from nuclear fuel and waste of fusion, participation in riots and strikes. So for the mandamanos, they are not covered. Uh, there's the riding or diving, driving in any kind of race and participation that is extreme sport. Uh, there's the stay at the sanatoria, old age homes, places of rest, beauty treatment, I already talked about, nervous breakdown, and uh, uh, yeah, then there's the chiropractor, acupuncturist, and all herbal, those ones are not covered, then there's the treatment of uh, other than registered medical practitioner. So you cannot come and say that uh, uh, probably you are on a diet and there's something that you need to take, now the insurance will not cover or cover all that. Um, do we, uh, I will pause and take questions before we move to professional indemnity. Are we together? Uh, but uh, Tris, I will propose you proceed to the professional indemnity and okay. then I will ask members to please, uh, you can post any question you have on the chat. And no, then once we are done with the professional indemnity presentation, we'll be able to take up all the questions that we can have the Q&A session. Thank you very much. Fair enough. Thank you so much, Clifford. We can move to the next one. And members, I'll urge you to... Members, I'll urge you to actually be attentive and ask any question because at the end of the day, this is you who's going to be making this product. So make sure you understand the product way, way better than even us who brought it to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so this is a young lawyer's professional indemnity. I really believe that you lawyers are aware about what this cover is uh but let me just not let me just uh, tell you again what it, what it is and it's a this is a liability insurance that protects professionals in case of legal obligation to compensate third parties who may experience injury or loss or damage of their properties through negligence uh negligence uh, a professional person now uh we are doing professional service or giving their professional service to the to the uh, community or to the society and some of these things cannot be prevented especially if you're running a law firm you're working with people and errors and mistakes sometimes occur uh, not intentionally sometimes it's uh it happens but in, in in the professional world it's called a negligence because then you have to have uh they assume that you have the right skills to do your work they assume that you have the right uh, employees to do your work so but you find that there are some uh, some of these mistakes that happen that are not anticipated or really um the, the errors are not yeah they were not anticipated but now they occur and when they occur then now the insurance company if you take insurance professional indemnity then what it means is that the insurer now takes uh, care of that risk so now you can do your business at because uh, insurance is about peace of mind when you know that you have professional indemnity you can have peace of mind especially when you're delegating responsibilities to your subordinates you know you don't have fear uh thinking that maybe they will make mistakes so we take uh, a professional indemnity as an insurance professional i take professional indemnity as lawyers and any other professional profession uh, uh, professional uh, people we rely on professional indemnity i know lsk it is a requirement for you to be registered and so as other professions like insurance, we are required to uh, have the professional indemnity before we can practice. So uh, the insurers indemnify the uh, insurer against the law, legal uh, liability to pay compensation as a result of any actual or alleged negligent act. 
error or omission in the performance of professional duties of the insured undertaken in the course of their business. Yeah, so uh, this professional indemnity, it can uh, occur, the claim can occur per claim or per series of claim. So per claim, it could be a one-off case, but sometimes you find series of claim, there's a legal suit that was started and now there's another one that has come in. So now you can find that there are series of claim. Sometimes you find the claims take uh, a while, maybe it's something that started years ago and it keeps on dragging through court. Uh, because now for professional indemnity is not just given by the insurance company, it has to be awarded through court, then now the insurance company takes over. Uh, yeah. Then the other costs that are covered are the legal costs and expenses as part of cover within the limit of indemnity. So in this case, the limit of indemnity is $2 million. But then if you are still, because we know that there are some young lawyers who are really, really doing well, and probably you're doing $100 million or $1 billion, then we can quote for you accordingly. But this one, we just considered that most young lawyers are starting up and probably the, 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 the requirement by LSK is the $2 million. So that is why we dwelt on that $2 million and we did not. So don't think that this is just up to $2 million. If you need higher limit, we can still uh, provide. There's the loss of documents that is covered. So I know, I understand that some of your books are very costly. Yeah, so any liability to third parties arising from destruction, um, damage or loss of any documents, or computer records. Now, data is very important nowadays. So losing data, you know, and restoring can be so costly. So now professional indemnity comes in to indemnify you uh, uh, on that. Then we have the liberal and slander, uh, written or spoken comments. Now we think about politicians and, and some of you like uh, Tess, you are a politician in the making. So you could just say something and then you know you get sued so now the insurance, now the indemnity now comes and, and covers you for that. Dishonest act of any employee um, of the insured. So sometimes uh, employees we work with, we, you don't know where they're coming from. So things happen. So in case uh, such um, eventuality happens, for example, they disappear with some amount of money or, or whatever it is, any valuable items, those will be covered. Now, we have worked on an estimated annual fee. This product is based on assumption that we will be dealing with the cases of up to 500,000 of, of the estimated annual fee. If you are doing very, very well and your turnover is more than this, kindly let us know. But we, this one is on the assumption that you are working uh, with below 500,000. Uh, then there's the the limit, the overall limit, which is two million, the loss of document is fifty thousand, libel and slander, which I've talked at about is fifty thousand, and then the dishonesty of employees also fifty thousand. Yeah, just next. Then we have the uh, death and permanent total disability. So uh, this one arises when uh, someone passes on in an accident, God forbid. Then now uh, you have the next of kin is paid uh, 500,000. But if it's permanent total disability, it means that you one is still alive. So this money is paid to death. Now this one is only paid as a result of accidental or death or accidental permanent total disability. Apart from that, there's also a small uh, token of 15,000 that is for last expense in case a member passes on. Uh, remember that we also dealt with the personal accident on the medical insurance side. Yeah, so and the premium is only Kenya shillings, 5,825. So per year, sometimes when we tell people, they think if this is per month, this is just per year. So I, I think that when you are planning for our next year, we should have this. And for those of you who are uh, uh, starting your law firms, I wish you the best. Uh, the, I think this is the fortunate, I don't know if unfortunate is that this is a requirement, so you must have it, but take it positively because then it uh, protects your life. For medical, it protects your health, and for professional, professional indemnity, it protects your, your, your business so, and, and, and your wealth. So uh, with that, I can now invite you to ask questions. Yeah, I hope that I've given you elaborate information that will be able to assist you to make your decision. Now, okay, 
the coverage, there's the retroactive cover. Uh, sorry, thank you for bringing that. Um, so now, profusion indemnity liability are generally set up based on claim based basis, meaning the policy only covered claims made during the policy period. So if you take this cover, say, uh, from now, and yet there's a, a claim that occurred in the previous years, that one will not be covered. Usually, if you have a claim in the previous year, like for example, if you, you took a cover, say, two years ago with a old mutual, and now you take this with a Britam, it is the old mutual to take care of this, that claim at that point. So it is not, you won't come and say that pay this claim yet, the claim or the time that the legal suit took place was two years ago. So that is what it means with uh, when you talk about your retroactive cover. So runoff cover provides protection for claims made against the insured when they stop trading or practicing. So you can would have stopped trading or practicing, but there's a claim that occurred uh, before you stopped. So uh, that one is covered. Yeah. So it's covered at that point where, so you have to trace back where you took that professional indemnity advocate. The insurance of cover, this is for extension. Now this one for insurance, there are big uh, premiums, like talks about uh, like uh, billions. You find that most insurance companies reinsure because they, they don't, they cannot assist with that risk because they probably, if their claim occurs, they will not be able to, to meet the application. Yeah. All right, so these are the exclusions, the insolvency, willful acts. I think you can read the pollution. Uh, they're generally just the general exclusions. Uh, yeah, bodily injury, none or prior claims, which I already talked about, yeah. So requirements, you fill in, uh, this is the simple uh, product really to uh, handle, because you fill in a simple proposal form, you provide ID, copy and passport, KRA, premium, and then you pay premium, we are able to process this cover within two hours. So when we get this information, we will share with you the MPESA number, you make payment. Within a record time of two hours, you should be able to have your profit indemnity. For medical insurance, uh, you, yeah, so kindly contact us for any queries. But for medical uh, insurance, you need to fill in a form and again provide ID copy and care pin. And then it takes about five working days to process medical insurance. But the moment you pay, technically you're covered. So if anything happens, you are technically covered as the membership uh, details are being processed. For medical cover, you'll be given. Um, uh, AR uses a platform called MTBA. So it uses your telephone number. You will not carry a card. When you go to see the, uh, the doctors, you go to the hospital, you will present the, the, your, your membership number and you will be given services. Now, the, the, I talked about the hospitals that you can visit, but other than that, you can visit all specialists. You, there are lists of pharmacies that you can go directly and chemists. You don't have to go to the provider, to, to the hospital, or you don't have to go uh, yeah, back to the insurer to get the, the medication. And now we have the apps that can deliver medications to you, so you don't have to even go to the pharmacies. You can visit the specialist directly. You don't have to get referral letters. So when you are ready and we start to engage, we will share with you the list of all specialists. Now they are the main uh, providers really that you can go to the main uh, specialists when it comes to dermatologists and um, uh, what do, all, all, all these uh, specialists that uh, you can see the Yeah, so once we engage you further, we are able to share with you because the list is long. It's really, really long. It's, like thousands of providers. So we are not able to share that information right now. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Madam Beatrice, for quite an elaborate uh, presentation. Uh, Annette, before I proceed with the questions, I saw your hand up. Annette, would you want to go? What's your question, Annette? Members, if you have a question, you can raise your hand or you can put it in the chat section. Annette, this, the floor is yours.
Annette, are you there? Ama, we lost her. Members, any other person with a question? Okay, as we wait for them, maybe Tess, do you have a question on their behalf? Yes, Madam Beatrice, I do have one. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Well, thank you very much, Madam Beatrice, again for the elaborate uh, presentation. Members, once more, welcome uh, to this webinar for the Young Bar Medical Cover together with the Professional Indemnity Cover. Uh, Madam Beatrice, I have several questions, but I will start with this. You had mentioned when you're presenting the indemnity cover that mm -hmm. there's some standard uh, omission effects that there's some standard issues that will arose and someone will not be covered, including war and terrorism. Will that not be equated to an act of God, force majeure? Don't you have a force majeure clause while doing this cover, the professional indemnity one? Okay, so force majeure is generally an exclusion when it comes to insurance, uh, just like uh, COVID. You know, when COVID first happened, uh, no insurer was covering COVID. Now you can imagine, like I talked about war and uh, floods and such kind of act of uh, the, the natural acts. I mean, when they come, they come so massive. And you see insurance is usually, um, uh, when, when underwriting is being done, they consider all these risks and they come up with premium. So this is not factored in because if it comes, then no insurer will be able to meet the obligation. I mean, all the insurance companies will go under because uh, insurance is a pool. You come up with a cost and you, you, you have an estimated risk. So like for this year, you say that we'll take um, this risk, but we estimate eh, based on statistics that these are the number of claims that will occur. So then we are comfortable that we can cover the, the, the cost. Eh? say annual cost eh, when an occurrence happened. But now when it comes to actual uh, natural uh, uh, causes, it is very difficult for insurance companies to determine the risk. So that's why it remains normally not covered. But usually there are some consideration like uh, in, in COVID later on they reviewed and right now COVID is covered. Yeah, so that is the reason why most force majeure uh, clauses are not covered under insurance. Have I answered the question? Yes, you have, Madam Beatrice. Thank you very much. So, members, you have heard from uh, the underwriters that in, in the unfortunate event that after taking the PI cover, it happens that we have a war or terrorism attack against our beloved country, because I believe we are patriots, despite how the economy is taking us, it will not be covered. Well, my other question will be on the PI. You have mentioned that one takes it a one-off of only 5,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. And you have mentioned that you can only cover during the duration that one has taken the cover. Mm -hmm. So when does the cover start being useful? Does it start from the day that one registers or does it start from the day that you have told members after three working days it will commence? You see, for, for, for covers, uh, both PR and, and medical, the moment you sign in the form and you make payment, in fact, the moment you make payment, you are technically covered. You see things like, uh, say, professional indemnity, uh, not what do you call them, policy documents may delay, but you, the, the moment you send, send, and press, and it's gone, you are technically covered. But that's what we are saying, because we know that you need these documents for registration, we uh, facilitate to ensure that you have them within two hours. So your cover begins when you make payment for the entire year, a whole calendar year. So that is when it's applicable. If you didn't have a cover last year and there was a claim, unfortunately, if you take, because it, it depends on when the legal suit happened, when the person took you to court, that is when now the claim begins. So when you are taken to court, you know, it can take many years. It can even take years. So now by the time the court is awarding you, now the insurer will go back to who insured, insured you at that point. If you had the insurance, the person who insured you at that point 
will take care of that claim. That's why when you take professional indemnity, don't throw, don't archive those those um, a policy documents because you will need them at some point, maybe even 10 years. So now we will have to go back to the, the insurer at that point to, to pay the claim. It's not like medical cover that's annual and once it, it ends, that is it. Because for medical, it's annual, it's annual, renewable annually. So if you are sick, this, if you are not sick in a year and you move to the other year, you can't say that I wasn't sick. It is gone like that, it's annual, yes. Thank you very much, Madam Beatrice. So members, from there, you've heard that in case you decide to move from Britam and you go to another company, and then the claims that you receive is backdated to when you had Britam cover, they will still be able to cover you. Is that not the position, Madam Beatrice? Yes, correct. Yeah, that is it. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for that. Uh, before I go to the questions for the insur uh, medical insurance, I would want to remind members that it is good as advocates to be covered. Everyone who has a law firm or anyone who practices uh, using a law firm, you understand when you're trying to register in for your practicing certificate, you have to fill in even your PI cover. Your bosses always upload their PI cover. And this one is very pocket friendly because you only pay 5000 annually and you'll be able to be covered to a limit of $2 million. So as we begin in our practice, as we begin with our Back then, when we were starting law firms, we used to call them kiosk. I don't know if they have changed the terms, but uh, I hope members will understand this is a respectful term. So when we begin our law firms, please be ensured that you take your cover so that in case of anything, no one knows about tomorrow, anything can happen. Please ensure you're covered. And uh, it is also a requirement as per the LSK practice rules. Thank you. Madam Beatrice, can we proceed now to the medical cover where the 64,000 medical cover, mm -hmm. there is a, the category two, there is a clause where you're giving people an accidental cover. Is that correct? Clifford, can you please project? In a minute. Thank you. Yes. Madam Beatrice, have you gotten my question? Yes. yes, I got your question. There's a free personal accident cover for both professional indemnity and medical cover of one million each so does that mean even in the britam cover there is also an accident cover it is an accident cover of one or five sorry or five hundred thousand for uh okay. for five hundred thousand for britam but for the medical it is one million and again so, yes so you're telling us if we take the five if we pay just five thousand, we are not yes. just getting a medic. Uh, we are not just getting a PI cover, but you are mm -hmm. also getting an accidental cover worth five hundred thousand. Yes, yes, yeah. So this one we consider that I, I, I told you because this pro uh, product we, as Mega Health, we thought that this is a need because we see young lawyers, you know, moving around. So what happens? Uh, God forbid, if something happens, then now sometimes it's not just you know just selling insurance yeah? but you know it, it just uh making sure that uh because no, this one is paid to the member this is not paid to the hospital remember insurance medical insurance if you're sick the, the claim is paid to the insurance to, to the hospital but for this one for personal accident cover it is paid to the member or to the next of kin so that's the difference between medical and personal accident cover Thank you very much. And members, as you can see, it has been projected. Their personal accident pr principal member, 500,000. Funeral expenses, accident only, 15,000. Thank Correct. you very much. Uh -huh. uh, Cliff, you can also project on the medical cover so that we can be able to bring out that point very clear of the accidental cover. Madam Beatrice, as uh, Clifford is trying to project that, why should we take this cover and not go out there and source for ourselves? Yeah, as, as I mentioned, that um, we did, um, we got several quarters. Uh, you remember when uh, Helena started and contacted us uh, before you came in to take over? We had, 
asked for several quotations from many insurance companies and shared even the analysis. And we, together with the council, of course, reviewed and uh, came up with these are the best option because it's all inclusive. You don't have to pay inpatient, then pay outpatient, then pay maternity, then pay because cumulatively it becomes uh, very pricey. But if we put this, because we understand that young lawyers also need maternity, so we came up with this. And then the other reason is that there's no waiting period eh, for this cover. If you go to the other insurance companies, you will be told there's 30 days waiting period, and then there's a pre existing condition, one year. And and, uh, and and what else? Yeah, the, even the premiums are a, a bit high. Now we've also negotiated for the insurance premium option where you can pay up to six installments. Otherwise, if you go there, you'll be told you have to pay up to five installments. And uh, yeah, so it, it's it's more uh, tailor-made for, for young lawyers. So that is what, that's why uh, I, I feel that you should take this cover. Uh, and also considering that uh, we have really been doing this for a long time as mega health insurance brokers, we've existed for 12 years. Personally, I've been in the medical insurance industry for 20 years. So if you wake me at night and you tell me which is the best cover, well, I, I can tell you from the top of my head, depending on the need. Remember, needs are different. An older person need is different from a younger person. We've come up with parents, medical cover, that is with Jubilee. Of course, they are, the, 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 the parameters are different. So we can, we also have another one called AR Wakili for mid lawyers. So you usually have the senior lawyers, then you have the young lawyers. That our middle, you've never come up with a name for them, but we call them the mid lawyers. Eh? So we still have a package. So when a mid lawyer calls me, I know in my mind, this is the best company eh, to present from. This is the best cover. But for, for a young lawyer, this would be the best. So otherwise, if you go to check elsewhere, you might get cheaper options, but where the, 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 you find that the, the pro panel of providers are very limited. You are being asked to go to maybe to Medanta or Belize. And we know that you guys are lawyers, you work so hard. So you also need to go to um, a better hospitals. So that's why we have given you tier one and tier two. I mean, for those of us, we know Equity Afia is all over the estate. Personally, I go to Equity Afia. I don't go to Nairobi but I only go if there's major need. If it's a, spe a special uh, case, I go to see a specialist directly. So you don't have to go to the hospital to see a specialist. You can walk in and see your specialist without having to go to, to a hospital. So even the issue of the hospital is neither here or there. Because if, if you can walk into a specialist facility, then there's no problem. Is that convincing, uh, Tess? Yes, it is. And uh, the most important part is the fact that uh, you have been in this industry for more than 10 years, so you know better. We have worked with you severally. You have helped us secure the parents' cover, the seniors' cover. And unfortunately, we don't have any other names, so we call them the midbar. I'm soon going to join that uh, category Yeah, after four years or so. Okay. And you have mentioned this is the best suited cover for young lawyers. Um, allow me to say something, members. In, when we were negotiating this cover, we didn't just look for uh, first two, three years of experience. We looked up to 10 years of experience because life can happen. As it is right now, it is getting harder and harder, especially with economical times and economical changes. So even if it's your ninth year of practice and you have not been able to get a cover for yourself, this is the best place to come because you're still within the bracket. And number two, in case something happens, Madam Beatrice will be there to hold your hand. She'll be there to ensure that your premium is paid through Nairobi branch. We'll still share their contacts. So it is not a means where you had an agent who ran away or you had an agent who's not picking your calls. No, we had to do a good background check. And as a branch, we have signed a good MOU with Mega Health. So back to the question, Madam Beatrice, which uh, as per the comment written in the comments, it's about have you seen from Lucy Gishuki from Lu, Lucy Gishuki he says I don't think Miss Beatrice answered the last question if five five K premium is both for inpatient and personal accident. Accident no I uh, IP is for the IP. Yeah, in personal accident. I think Lucy got it wrong 
for the 5k premium it is for the professional indemnity together with personal accident of 500,000 now for inpatient category 2 it's now where we are going so madam Beatrice, please take us through the category 2 where we are also getting a personal accident cover okay so the 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 the, the cover that uh, is that 1 million eh? if you take that cover of 1 million you will have a free personal accident cover of 1 million if you take an inpatient cover of 1 million even the others even the other the both options eh? if you take both options of cover you will have whether you take option category 1 or category 2 you still have a free personal accident cover of 1 million so aside from, and I explained that for medical insurance, the premium, the, the, the claim is paid to the hospital, but personal accident cover, it is paid to the member or the next of kin. So Lucy, I hope you have seen the clarity that for inpatient, it only comes with AR category two, where you no, can no, no. get an access. All, all, all the categories, all the categories for medical, you will get a free personal accident cover of one million mm -hmm. for medical insurance. For professional Thank indemnity, you. you will get 500,000. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for the clarity. Lucy, I hope now that has given you the clarity of the... Lucy, Lucy, can you say something, please? yeah it's it's covered it's covered thank you very much okay welcome lucy uh madam beatrice you've mentioned that when we're taking the medical cover we will be able to pay it in installments as per the insurance law one is not supposed to pay insurance via installments so you brought in ncba bank or rather we as a team brought in ncba bank to be able to be the people who are be doing the first pay off and then we remit our installments to NCBA. Does one require to have an account with NCBA or regardless of you having an account or not, you will still be able to access this cover? Okay, so um, by law, uh, you cannot uh, buy insurance in, in, in installments directly from the insurance company. So you have to go through the insurance premium finance because it is cash and carry, insurance is cash and carry. Uh, now, if you want to take uh, an installment, then we have negotiated with the NCBA bank, which have the lowest rates because you can still do it with other banks, but they will limit you to a uh, four installments. So for, for NCBA, we, we were able to uh, push it to eight months. So uh, j just for you, otherwise, out there, they will not allow anyone to pay for more than uh, four installments. That is NCBA, but we talked to AR to negotiate on our behalf with NCBA and they were agreeable to give you up to eight installments. So again, considering that uh, we are starting up, we are startups and you know, uh, cash flow sometimes can be a challenge. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope that will be beneficial to you. Sorry, Madam Beatrice, you didn't answer the question. Does one need to have an account with NCBA or not? No, you don't have to have a, a, an account with NCBA. There's a form that you fill in, and then we will be able to facilitate. We'll be able to uh, forward this to the bank. But again, if you want to do it directly, fine. But uh, we, you fill in the form, then the insurer has to uh, guarantee. There's a letter that comes from the insurance company to the bank to guarantee that uh, this premium will be paid. So we will facilitate all that, but you don't have to have an account. Uh, you don't have to have a checkbook to have this uh, in place. Thank you very much. And uh, in addition to that, you have mentioned eight premiums. Is it eight installments or six? It is up to eight, eight, eight months. So uh, this one, um, just a second, let me just check in a short one.
members as they are discussing i hope you've seen the premium summary that has been presented before you internalize it please yes madam beatrice so this is six months but it can be stretched to eight months huh? depending on the on the premium if the, the premium is larger then the the, the bank can accept huh? uh up to up to eight months yeah so members you've heard it from the source uh when you decide to take a cover of 39000 per year you can pay it within a period of 6 months when you decide to take the 45 one you can pay it within a period of 6 months when you decide to take the 50 something one period of 6 months or 8 months or you decide to take the category 2 you can pay it within an installment of 8 months so members we don't really have a choice and say oh oh medical cover is expensive we have been able to secure a medical cover for you that is going to ensure your pockets run, don't dry, run dry, but you're also covered. And as Madam Beach has mentioned, the moment you make your first installment, it is the moment your insurance card starts working. Thank you very much. Any other member with a question before we wind up? So, Madam Beatrice, when a person decides to take up the cover, who are we supposed to contact? You can contact us. I've placed my number there, uh, but there is also the office line, just in case uh, uh, if they don't reach me. So, um, I work with a team. Uh, for now, I wanted to uh, do this personally, so the inquiries are coming through me, but I delegate to my team. So, most of the time, you will find that they'll call me, but I'll tell you so, and so we'll call you in a short while. So I will uh, delegate, I have, I, have, I have at least people who are, are, are going to... Uh, uh, ...give you more information. Eh? I've identified some young people also. Uh, around me who are able Madam Beatrice, you're breaking, sorry. And, and, and Madam Beatrice, you're breaking. Person. Sorry, Madam Beatrice, you're breaking. Your internet was a bit flaunty. You're breaking. Okay, members, as Madam Beatrice fixes her internet issues you've had, you can contact LSK Nairobi branch, you can contact me as one of your council members or any other council member uh, to come and help you, but I uh, will urge you to contact either me or the Nairobi branch direct because we work hand in hand with uh, Madam Beatrice and then we'll be able to share your information to Mega Health and from there they'll be able to sell their salespersons who will come directly to your desk to help you fill the form to answer any questions that you might be having that you might not have uh, gotten a satisfactory answer as per this webinar. And if you have any other further question, do not hesitate to do a follow-up. Uh, our, our Nairobi branch number will be shared on the chat. Please click share also our Nairobi branch LSK number and also share my number so that members can be able to reach out to us in case any of you will want to have any follow-up questions. But most importantly, members, I will urge you, let's take care of ourselves. Our health is our wealth. Without good health, we will not be able to go to work. We will not be able to go out there and get those good briefs. We will not be able to go out there and sustain a client until the end. And when you have, you do not have good health, and you're also not covered. Those are two, two problems. One, you're sick. Two, you don't even have a medical insurance. So please, let's take care of ourselves by taking this cover for the sake of our own good health, so that we keep on being able to deliver to our clients without any fear that, oh my God, what if I fall sick? Will I be able to deliver? Yes, you'll be able to deliver because when you take off. You will not be worried if you don't work you'll not be able to afford medication if you fall ill especially now we have el nino the one that the governor the government told us was not coming but it seems god had other plans it is now here with us if you catch a cold and it gets serious or pneumonia 
if you have this cover, you'll be able to go to the nearest hospital for the category that you have taken. You'll be able to be taken care of. You'll be able to afford medical care without fear that, oh my God, I will not be able to go back to work and get money so that I go to the hospital. But above all, I urge you to tell also your colleagues who will not be able to attend this webinar. This cover range, ranges from one day in practice till 10 years in practice. If you have a spouse, as you've been recommended by Madame Beatrice, also include your spouse. If you have a child, all children, also include your children. The salespersons who will be sent to your office will come and give you more info on how you can include your people on the cover because you will be the principal person and the others will be the subsidiary persons in the cover. And uh, Madam Beatrice, I have one last question that has just popped up about uh, the subsidiary people who we are going to be covering. If someone is married but they do not have a marriage certificate, can we also execute via an affidavit just like we do in HIF? Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Tess, uh, just for promoting this product. Um, and I know that you are passionate about it uh, as a young lawyer and, and for your young lawyers. So, um, now, uh, as at now, uh, we, the, all insurance companies allow uh, spouses, whether they don't ask for marriage certificates. So as long as you declare them on the application form, they're acceptable. So you don't have to have a, an affidavit or a marriage certificate to have your spouses covered. So, so far, that is not happening. If, uh, children, there are some companies asking. In, in this case, uh, for, for a child, we will need a birth certificate, but we don't require a marriage certificate for, for spouses. What of those ones whom we will want to have uh, to practice either polygamy or polyandry? Can we add our extra spouses? No, unfortunately, you can just add one, but you can pay for the other. So you are not limited. You can pay for the other, but the only thing is that you will you, there will be two applications. There will be two applications. So there's one. So you direct at the one that you love most, probably in the first one, and then the other one that probably uh, you know then that one can stand on their own. So they'll fill in their own form. You pay for them, so that uh, yeah, they, they are also covered. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Madam Beatrice. And yeah. at this juncture where we have come to the end of this webinar, I uh, will want one of our members to say something about it. Any member can just, uh, in the next two minutes, please unmute yourself and say something so that we can close the session. Thank you. Okay, since none of you wants to speak, can I al allow Lucy to say something? Lucy, since you've been vocal during the presentation, please say something on behalf of the members. Yeah, that, that's that's been dragged right there. Eh? We are 25 other members. Um, thank you very much for the webinar. I think that is very helpful. Uh, I'm sure the young lawyers will uh, hop onto that bus. I think it's not a very bad bus. Uh, as for me and my house, I shall be telling the young lawyers in my circle because I am not a young lawyer. I will tell them because this is a very, very, very good uh, setting. I think I think it is. Um, let me misuse the word regardless. Irregardless. And please just know that's not English uh, of the circumstances that are, uh, are there right now. Uh, everything taken together. We are very grateful for Beatrice and her team for putting this together. And now for the Nairobi Law Society, um, the, the the chapter, Asantini Sana Kufanya Hikas in Njema Sana, and continue that way. Give us more, it's good for information, it's also good for learning. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you Lucy. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lucy. They intentionally, uh, our former president will be like, irregardless. So we use that intentionally. <laughs> but point oh, taken, yeah. thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, well, members, uh, before we wind up, uh, Madam Bishis and Tim, do you have anything to say? Yeah, um, thank you so much for allowing us to present to you.
and uh, we hope that the information we've given you is uh, 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 is going to uh, assist you to make decision to take this uh, medical cover for you and uh, for your family. For those of you who are having law firms, you can even take for your uh, staff members. And, and, and I was just thinking, imagine if something happens to you and you go to hospital, and then now people have to changa. I mean, you, you can imagine, huh? you know, so I, I think let's take advantage of this. I think um, three years ago, I was hospitalized. And for the first time, I've been covered for over 20 years. So for the first time, I was admitted eh, three years ago. And I walk into hospital and I leave. And the bill was one million, by the way. So you can imagine, I keep on asking myself, what would have happened? You know, raising one million is not easy, you know. Uh, and I was there for two weeks. And uh, yeah, so please consider this. There's no dignity in, 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 um, in, in asking for rambles. I mean, well, it happens, but it's not the best. It's not the best. So if you can just um, make a decision, and one of the things I've realized, usually if you give something a priority, you will have funds to pay. But if at the moment you think that, ah, this is not a priority, then the funds will not come. Yeah, so usually when you put it in your budget, you realize that you will always find money to renew. Like I mentioned to you that I've been covered for the last uh, 20, over 20 years, yeah. And uh, yeah, and I've always paid, I mean, because I, regardless. <laughs> yeah, I've always paid, but when you pay and you don't, you don't know, <laughs> because someone else, you know, benefits. So please consider this. I really feel usually, Okay, it's not nice, but yeah, when a member is hospitalized and the bill is paid and they call me and they tell me thank you. So I well, we are not taking it so that we fall sick, but if it happens, you will you you will be really, really grateful for the medical cover. Yeah, thank you. And also consider taking for your parents. We have a good parents cover uh, by Jubilee Insurance. The good thing with the parents cover is like you can uh you can fundraise to pay for your parents, medical cover. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so that, that's also another thing that you need to consider as you're taking your cover. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, thank you, Tess. Thank you for Nairobi Lawyer Secretariat for just helping us to come up with this presentation. I wish you the best long holiday. And I hope you are going to plant trees as has been commissioned by the president. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Beatrice. Well, members, uh, three things. Number one, we have been able to record this presentation, so we will post it in our YouTube page and we'll also try to circulate it in all the groups that we are in so that in case your friend, your colleague did not get a chance to join the webinar, please point to them that this is the webinar you need not to miss to listen. Number two, Apologies for putting my face on your cameras like this, like I was taking a parent selfie. <laughs> uh, where I am, I am a bit constrained with space. And uh, number three, I'm very passionate about members' welfare. If you know me, you know that. And that's why they call me member welfare. And I have done several Michango for advocates, be it even senior advocates, young advocates than me, my own colleagues. And it is not as it is usually a bitter pill to swallow when I cannot be able to achieve the goal of the money that is needed at the hospital. So let us take this cover and let them chango be a supplement. I am urging you on this, please. With no much further ado, God bless you all. Enjoy your afternoon and enjoy your long Friday weekend because we have four days for Friday today, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday. But Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Monday, remember to plant the trees thank because you. your future generation will thank you for that. Thank you. And uh, now we have carbon. Is it carbon harvesting? Carbon carbon of that sort. Yeah, we that thing. Carbon credit, yes. <laughs> yeah, carbon <laughs> credit. So you never know where you'll get your mula from when you do that planting of trees. Thank, thank you very much. God bless you. And um, for the team, uh, Madam Beatrice and team, thank you for helping me put this together. For my team at the LSK Secretariat, Wendy, <clears throat> Clifford, 
and the other members of Secretariat, thank you also. Members, feel appreciated for joining us. And uh, goodbye. Yes, bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.